Hello and welcome back to Travel With Us For Life. This week, we take you with us to Mexico City, the capital of Mexico. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. There are many big cities in the world, but there is only one biggest city in the world, and that is Mexico City. With a population of 28 million people, this city has a lot to offer. We spent two weeks in Mexico City visiting my uncle Orlando and his wife Myrna, and they took us along to some of the best sites. The city center is huge and is super crowded, but we love the old style architecture and the really upbeat energy that you sense as you walk down the street. These are the top 8 things we recommend doing in Mexico City. Number 8. Visit the Metropolitan Cathedral. Situated in the middle of the city, this impressive cathedral was built between 1573 and 1813. Because of how long it took to build, just under 250 years, Virtually all of the main architects, painters, and sculptors during colonial times worked at some point during the construction. As you walk through the cathedral, you can see the different styles, Gothic, Baroque, and Neoclassical all merging together. Number 7. El Huequito Taco Restaurant We were told by everyone that these were the best tacos in Mexico City, so we had to try them. And I gotta be honest, they were actually really good. El Huequito Taco Place, famous for the tacos. Really good. Number 6. Latin American Tower There's a lot to do at the ground level of Mexico City, but if you want to take a break from the busy streets and view the city from up top, the best place to do it is the Latin American Tower. It costs $9 to enter and take the elevator to the viewing terrace on the 48th floor, but the view is incredible. Number five, have lunch at the Balcón de Zocalo restaurant. Right in the center of Mexico City, you'll find Plaza Zocalo, or Constitution Square. If you want to get a good view of the plaza from above while you enjoy a good lunch, check out this cool little restaurant. Getting in is kind of tricky. First of all, you have to get through the Centro de Joyero de Mexico, which is a jewelry store, and take the hidden elevator all the way at the back to the top floor. Then, sit back and enjoy the view. Number four, visit the Palacio Postal. This incredible building, Palacio Postal or Postal Palace, was completed in 1907 and has been in operation ever since. Originally built to celebrate Mexico's new postal system, it served to unite the nation around a common service. Today, you can enter anytime and explore its beautiful hallways, and if you feel like it, even send a letter home.
Number 3. Visit the Teotihuacan Ruins About an hour drive from the hustle and bustle of downtown, you'll find the Teotihuacan archaeological site. The city of Teotihuacan existed from 100 BC all the way to 800 AD and at the time was the largest city in all of the Americas. As a matter of fact, with a population of 125,000 people, it's considered to have been the sixth largest city in the world at that time. Although there are a lot of small buildings all around, the main site consists of a very long path, maybe three miles long, called the Avenue of the Dead, with two giant pyramids on each side. With the largest one, the Pyramid of the Sun, being one of the biggest pyramids in the world at an impressive 216 feet of height. The fee to enter is not high, it's only $5, but you need to get there very early because they close the door once the first 1,000 people come in, and that's usually by 11 a.m. It took us a good three hours to explore the site and take everything in. It was a lot of fun. All right, so we're on Teotihuacan Pyramids. Um, we got here about, what, an hour ago? Mm -hmm. It's amazing, I don't know if you can see behind us. That's the Pyramid of the Moon over there. Let's see, let's move this way. <laughs> Over there you have the Pyramid of the Sun. That one's a little bit bigger than this one. Number two, visit the San Juan Food Market. This massive food market in the heart of Mexico City won't show up on most of the travel guides but it's definitely worth a visit. Here you can find and eat the craziest and most exotic foods. You'll find everything from scorpions, tarantulas, and all types of insects to tiger and lion meat. After exploring for an hour or so, we settled for having lion steaks. I'm not kidding, real lion steaks. It was delicious. Okay, we are the Mercado de San Juan, as you can see, a crazy place. We have all kinds of crazy foods uh, in the middle of Mexico. We're actually going to be having lion meat. We have all kinds of crazy stuff. They have lion meat. Literally, African lion meat. Probably not from Africa, born and bred in Mexico, and about to be eaten by me. Real lion. He's about to cook it. We're about to eat it. This is gonna be great. Wow. Number one, ride the Mexicali. Starting in 2016, Mexico City got its very own gondola system used for public transportation. Since most of the outer neighborhoods are up and down the hills and mountains that completely surround Mexico City, the government figured it would be easier to fly over the city rather than build new roads. Today, the system hasn't really caught on yet and remains mostly emptied and in use but for a return ticket of only $4, you can travel the whole hour long length of the line and get a very cool and unusual view of the city from up above. We spent two weeks in Mexico City with our family and had a great time. Thank you so much Orlando and Rina for taking us out and showing us around the city. You guys were amazing. And remember, if you like this type of content, don't forget to subscribe so you get more awesome videos like this one.